Welcome back. We kicked off the day with a hot air balloon skydive and now I'm heading out to Palm Desert to meet up with my buddy Wade and his wife Erica. They are big into flying, they're big into sailing, they're big into design, architecture, art, uh, mental health, you name it. Probably gonna take up the helicopter, maybe do a tour of Joshua Tree or somewhere out here in the desert, we'll see. Saturday, off to a great start with the balloon jump. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And now we're gonna get some time, hopefully uh, with good friends. Let's see where the day takes us. Well, hello. Well, hello, sir. How's the morning coffee treating you? Uh, it's not working yet, but it will be in a minute. <laughs> let's get out of here, come on. Let's oh, go. oh, oh, okay, okay. all right, let's go. Let's go. I'm down. Hey, <laughs> girl, what a sweetie. Sleepy yeah. little Luna. All right, so we are at Erica and Wade's house right now, and we are trying to figure out a place to go eat via helicopter. It's actually harder than you would think. We got the mini mart across the street. We got Borrego Springs Airport down south. Uh, we were trying to find something in Joshua Tree, but there's not anything close to the airport in Yucca. So there's no telling what we'll end up getting here. Wade really likes the mini mart though. Best chicken in town. Mini Mart chicken is pretty nice. Do you want me to skydive out? You could. No, I don't. <laughs> you, got, you got your shoot. I wish I had somebody that could fly. I'd do it with you. So a while back, we actually did do a skydive into Joshua Tree, but we don't have anyone to fly the heli this time, so we're, we're not going to skydive this time. I got some walkie-talkies, a shirt. Oh, there it is. If you don't have one, get a melon hat. These things are indestructible. Like, I'm pretty sure Wade has stress test is beyond like the normal limits. But if you can't find a melon hat, get one, get a safari hat. You can buy them at your local gardening store. So this is like the normal scramble before we all head out to the uh, the hangar, just trying to make sure that we have all the equipment. For uh, the amount of people we have, we bring way too many cameras. There's probably three cameras per person. Got everything? You want this tripod too? Yeah, both of them. Let's do this. Here, 25, need to be at 70. Safety first, safety first here. Tires good? Tires are good. We're still low on chicken, but we'll remedy that here shortly. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty uh, stoked about the chicken sandwiches. There's one dude that makes the best sandwiches and you gotta catch those sandwiches. They're out by about 11 a.m. All right, so we're, we're slowing down here. So I, I think, wait, are we, are we getting to your spot? Is this... this is it. We're pulling into the chicken place. Oh, you can you can smell that chicken. We're here for the chicken. You smell that? You smell it, don't you? Justice, what do you want, man? I'll, I'll do. I'll do. Zero I'll do one of these guys. Yeah. Most people go to like the other side. Wait, wait, just comes to the cave. The inside. <laughs> so what do you think we do? No chicken sandwiches. What kind of wedges? I mean, are the wings plus substitute? Is it? Uh, no. No, there can be nothing that's considered a substitute for the chicken sandwiches here. No chicken sandwiches, but we, we made out pretty good. We did okay. We got some chicken. It's just different form. Whoa! Needed this food. This is feeling pretty weak. Got some chicken. Got some good chicken. It's not the chicken we wanted, but it's chicken. Man of many talents. Mm. Everything's dirty out here. So we made it to Thermal. We're fueling up right now for a quick little trip over to Joshua Tree. But we want to try to figure out if we can hook the GoPro up to the avionics here so we can get the calm audio to go through the GoPro. So when it comes to getting a lot of this helicopter content, a, a lot of it comes down to like where we place all the cameras. And right now we're trying to figure out a place to put the tin where we can still tap into the audio. So we're doing a lot of work right now, assuming that this one audio output back here is actually an audio output. Hopefully it is. And that way we can get all the comms to record on the GoPro so you can hear what we're saying while we're in flight. To show you what I'm talking about back here, so this is where the headset goes in and here was just a little tiny aux 
hopefully output, maybe input, but hopefully output. And then um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run that audio cable up over here so that basically you'll be able to see, um, you know, from Wade's point of view. I'll have a 360 back here and also have the Sony A7S II. So got a lot of shooting going on. All right, so we made it to Yucca Valley Airport. This place looks deserted. It looks like zombies came through here and just wiped everything out. The runway, definitely not in the best shape. We were gonna try to put one of the GoPros underneath the heli, but we don't have the piece for it. Naturally, like, we brought every other piece but the one piece that we actually needed. So taking a quick break here, Wade went over to the gas station to try to get something to eat. And then we're gonna load back up, head back over Joshua Tree, um, and make it back over into, wow, the clouds are just doing something weird. Any it's luck? It's not one of those gas stations that you put anything in your mouth unless it's in a professionally packaged wrapper. Good gas station though. It's not a put things in your mouth gas station.
Great day flying, made it back, and now we're just putting the heli away. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, would love to help anybody else out that is trying to get into aviation. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. Gonna go back over to Erica and Wade's place and see what kind of footage we got.